Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Another Fat Guy Cooks. I'm your fat guy, Andy Baker, and today we're going to be doing spinach and artichoke dip, which is amazing for parties to share or just to eat on your own out of a bowl because you're lonely. Another lost day, another lost year, another chopped onion to cover up the tears, another dream dead, another loss on the books, another fat guy cooks. Okay, so just to uh, address the elephant in the room, not me, well I suppose it is me, really. Um, yes, I am back to talking on my videos instead of voicing them over. That is because um, tens of people, like in into, into double digits at least of people, have suggested that I go back to doing it this way because apparently it's better and it makes the videos look more interesting. And I was getting lazy and I'm shit and I suck and I should just go back to doing things the old way. So, yeah, here we are, me talking to camera again, loads of outtakes, mispronouncing words, sloppy editing, all the rest. Yay! So to anybody who uh, suggested that I had to do it this way, um, instead of the way that I like, which is voicing it over, which is easy, fuck you. Um, and thank you. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is boil some spinach. Um, we want about 280 grams of spinach, uh, but it needs to be about 280 grams after it's boiled and drained. So I have no idea how much spinach that actually is. So I'm just going to boil a fuckload of it and we'll, uh, we'll weigh it afterwards after we've drained it and then use what we need. And then the rest of it, I'll throw it out. Nobody actually eats spinach, right? On its own, anyway. Jesus, it's disgusting. Okay, so we need some water, just enough to cover our spinach. I'm going to salt our water, and let's turn that on. And we are going to use. About that much. Uh, lid. There we go. Um, okay. So, we've got our spinach going. Uh, we're going to wait till that's cooked. Uh, while that's happening, we're going to start sorting out our cheeses. So, first thing that we need is some mozzarella, some sour cream, some full fat soft cheese like Philadelphia or, you know, store brand, whatever. Um, I also got some Gruyere which is a really nice nutty um, Swiss cheese, which is great for you know making sauces and melty things and stuff like that. Tastes amazing. Um, right, right. First things first, we are gonna need. I got a little cheat sheet up here, by the way. You can't see it, but I can. Um, oh, we need mayo as well. We should probably get that out. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is start chopping up the cheeses and get them in a bowl, ready to go. Everything's going to get all melty and whatever together, so you don't have to worry about chopping things up too finely. Um, you can grate this stuff. Um, I normally would, but I lost my grater. So uh, for now, I'm just going to manage by rough chopping it. Ow! Fucker. Anyone wants to buy me a new kitchen that's not like designed for skinny people, I would be so happy. Ow. So let's do our Gruyere first. We need about half a cup of Gruyere. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, you half a cup. You're half a cup. I need that much of Gruyere, which is quite difficult when it's, you know, I could do the maths. Um, 
Google it. But it kind of feels like cheating. So we're just going to sort of eyeball it, I think. Um, so we're just going to take our rind off of our Gruyere. So we've got a nice easy place to start from. So let's see if that fills a cup of... I mean, obviously this thing's got air pockets and shit, so it's not quite good. Yeah, that's a half a cup. Why not? Okay, so also need one and a half cups of mozzarella. It has like stuff, silica, I think it has mixed into it, which is basically sand, which is what stops it from clinging together. So you, you kind of eat in sand when you eat it, but I don't think sand ever hurt anybody. So I think we'll be fine. People like the beach, right? Exactly. But they whinge about cheese and the sand in their fucking cheese. Ow. So that's half cup. That's another half cup. Yeah, another half cup. That's basically all of it. But we need two thirds of a cup of sour cream. Ah! Got that. This is a new fucking shirt. You know, I should have worn my apron. Probably would have made sense. Two thirds of a cup of sour cream. Gives it a nice acidy, tangy flavour, which is what we're going for. About a third of a cup of mayo, which is a bit less than half. Uh, we're just going to eyeball that again at about one big ass tablespoon. Just adds like a creaminess to it. Eggy creaminess. You can't actually put an egg in this, I think I've seen before, but putting mayo in is basically like putting eggs in. As mayo is just eggs and oil. Who the fuck doesn't like eggs and oil? Um, garlic. Now, ah, there we go. Okay, and that's the garlic done. Okay, and the final thing is a shitload of cream cheese. 230 grams, basically. Big one of these guys is. How much are you? 300 grams. So nearly a whole one of these. So basically, almost a whole one of these guys. Yeah, a bit more. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna throw the rest of that out. Cause it's only gonna sit in the fridge and then go off. Cause I'm gonna say I'll use it, but I won't. And then, big fat pinch of salt. Um, I've got some freshly ground pepper here already done, so we're going to throw a good pinch of that in. And then, we're going to give them a bit of a mix with the old wooden spoon. I should have done the thing where somebody told me in the comments at one point um, that if you put a uh, dishcloth down underneath your chopping board, it stops your chopping board moving all over the place and god damn it they are 100% correct so whoever comment that was uh, well done okay I'm just gonna mix all of this together get them all incorporated okay that's the cheeses next messy bit artichokes now you might find it a bit difficult to get artichokes. Ha, 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 hang on. Ah. Ugh. Okay. So you might find it a bit difficult to get artichokes. Um, I go to Costco. It's well worth it. You can get loads of cool shit there. Dead cheap. Um, well, it's not even fucking cheap. It's not cheap at all. But they have lots of stuff that they don't have anywhere else. Like massive fat fucking jars of artichokes for like £2.50 a jar. You get one about this big from Sainsbury's for about four quid. So Costco, definitely worth it for some stuff. So let's get a colander. Really wish I had a second sink. 
so I didn't have to empty it every time I did this. But we're just going to empty our artichokes out and then lay them out. We're going to give these a rough chop. We don't want them to be too fine. We don't want them to be too big. We want some big bits, some small bits, so you get a nice textural difference as you're eating the, uh, the dip. But I'm just going to give them a chop. So, wish me luck. Okay, that'll do me. So, let's see if we can't get a shot of this. Okay. Throw in all of our delicious artichokes. If you're proper English, by the way, and you've got no idea what artichokes are, they're like these big green heads of cabbage that have got these really sweet, tasty, meaty hearts in them, which are amazing, taste delicious. Uh. If you ever get a chance to go to a proper artichoke restaurant, they just give you this whole thing and you just peel the leaves off, dip it in butter, eat it. Fucking amazing. My friend Lulu took me to one of those once and it was absolutely fucking great in Texas, near Austin somewhere. So cool. Or was it in Santa? It might have been in San, uh, Santa Cruz. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. I think our spinach is about done. So we're just going to take this, throw them into our colander. As you can see, that whole great big fuck off bag of spinach has now become barely any spinach. Well, it should just about be enough. Take a load of paper towels, dry off our spinach as much as we can, get as much water out of there as possible. Do that. Let's just throw this guy on top. Just let him sit there for a second while the spinach all drains out. Okay. And that's about as much as we're going to get out of there. And then once we've done that, we're going to take our spinach and we're going to throw it all into our bowl. Ow. And then we're going to give it a good old mix around. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the spinach and artichoke side of it. Um, We've got our oven. <coughs> uh, we've got our oven preheated to about 280, something like that. So you're going to need a nice big oven safe dish. Um, I'm going to use this guy because I've used it before for this and I know it works. And we're going to fill him to the top. with our dip. How good is it without that fucking dickhead voiceover guy, by the way? I fucking hated that guy. What a prick. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna stick that in the oven, about 280 for about, about an hour, basically. Let it all get melty, get infused, and then we're gonna come back, give it a little stir, and then we're gonna show some plating options. So, yeah, put them in. And that's it. Uh, I'll be back in a second to you, to me, about an hour. Bye. Okay, so for plating up, we're gonna do it two ways. We're gonna, hopefully, we've got enough so we can do a bread bowl and then just have a side of artichoke. Artichoke, artichoke. <sighs> no, no, fuck it, we'll keep it in. Uh, artichoke dip. So we're gonna have the bread bowl, and then we're also gonna have the side thing. So, bread bowl. You want a ideally loaf of sourdough bread, like a boule or a pav, which is this guy here. What we're gonna do is make ourselves a hole in our bread. Like. 
something like that. I'm going to take all the bread out, like so. Leaves us with a nice bread bowl. Look at that. Ain't that cute. And then we're just going to cut the top of this. Little strips. Throw all this on our tray. We're just going to drizzle that with some olive oil, a big pinch of salt. Throw that in the bottom of the oven and let that go as well. Now, what we're going to do is take our spinach and artichoke dip out, and then we're going to get a spoon and we're going to spoon out. Oh, look at that stretch! Oh, beautiful. Look at this stretch. Oh, sexy. And we're going to spoon load of this into our bread bowl so it's full and almost overflowing okay so the remainder of your spinach the remainder of your spinach and artichoke dip you just want to move it around flatten it back down like so and then that can go back in the oven And then get your other plate out that you put your other bread bits on make a bit of room and then throw that on there give it a little drizzle around the outside with olive oil and before you go in just want to make a few incisions around the outside like this make it a bit easier to pull apart when the time comes to devour it. Perfect. Throw it back in. Alright, so looks like everything's pretty much done. So first things first, let's get our bread brawl. Bread brawl? Bread brawl. Let's get our bread brawl out of the oven. Get out of the way. Right, first thing, let's get our spinach and artichoke dip out. Looks amazing. And then let's get our bread bowl and tray out. Holy fuck, that all looks cool. Right. Whew. If it wasn't so horribly alone, it would be great to have someone around to share this with. But I'm just going to eat it all by myself. It'll be fine. It's good for you. Okay, first thing we need is... Mr. Bread Bowl, because he has got to cool the fuck down. Okay, Mr. Bread Bowl on the plate. Pop him there, and then we're going to load this up with our spinach and our choke dip. Nice big bowl of that. Throw. Our little toast points on that we made out of our leftover sourdough bread and then we've also got some of these guys which are really tasty as well and great for this kind of thing just little like uh, whole grain little bread crisp roll thingies and that's it ready for a party that no one's having and that I'm not invited to and that no one's going to come. But it does look fucking tasty. Try that. Uh. 
it's basically what being a YouTube person is. Just sitting in front of a camera with food in front of you making faces. Try and get a good thumbnail. Mm. Okay, first off. Let's try some of this. Ah, 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 ah. It's really hot. Really, really. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Let's try it. Mm. It's creamy and cheesy. Mm. Garlicky. Oh, it tastes fucking amazing. Mm. And the cheese has come together lovely. You get the nice cheese stretch. Absolutely fucking delicious. If you want to be the favorite person at your next fuddle, fucking party, whatever, make this, bring it, drop it on the table, fucking mic drop, walk away, and just receive your accolades. Because this thing will absolutely fucking slay. Um, bread bowl, should probably have a look at that. So, as you can see, all nice and toasty around the outside and then you can just pull your piece of your bread out like so <gasps> isn't it good mm. oh my god it's fucking amazing so good all right guys that's it spinach nacho bread bowl dip stuff things ha <sighs> amazing um, thanks for sticking with me while I've been trying you know through a few other different ways of filming this and whatever but I think going back to doing it this way is probably the best idea so here's to a load more episodes another fat guys just cooked catch you guys later <laughs>